टुडेज भागवतम क्लास ओम ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेव हरे कृष्ण प्रणा वी कंटिन्यूंग चैप्टर सन ऑफ द्रोण पणीषड फर्स्ट श्लोका पैतीस थर्टी एट पैतीस थर्टी फाइव टू थर्टी एट मा ए अर्थ अर्रसी त्रातुम ब्रह्म बंधुम इमं जी यसौ अनागस बालकान्तम प्रमत्तम उन्मत्तम सुप्त बालम श्रिय जडम याति अघ पुमा प्रतिश्रुत चवता पांचाल्य शुणवत मम शिश ते मणिनी पुत्र पार्थ इफ यू वांट टू रीड आफ्टर माय इफ दे रीड आई एम रीडिंग फुल श्लोका ओके माता जी मा एनम पार्थ अर्रसी त्रातुम म एनम पार्थ अर्रसी त्रातुम सुप्त मोबाइल हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो माँ पार्थ अर्रस्ती त्रा तुम ब्रह्मण बंधु इम जहि यसौ अनागस सुप्ता अवधित निशि बालकान मतम प्रमत्तम उन्मत्तम सुप्त बालम श्रिय जडम प्रपन्नम विरथम भीतम नरिकुम अंति धर्मवीत स्वप्राणाण्य पर प्राणे प्रपृष्णाति अग्रुण कल तत्व तस्ेय यदोषा आद्यति अद याति अद पुमा सॉरी चुकल दोषा याति पुमान प्रतिश्रुतम चवता पांचाल शुणवत मम आहर्षे शिव ते मणिनी पुत्र प्लीज रीड हरे कृष्ण मा एनम पार्थ हसी त्रातु ब्रह्म बंधु इमं जहि यह स अवनागस सुप्ता जनम प्रपन्न विरथ भीत नरिपुम हती धर्म स्वप्राणाण्यपराणे प्रपुषणा अति घृण कल पुत्रहा
हरे कृष्णा श्रीधर प्रभु जी यू कैन रीड हरे कृष्ण मैनम ब्रह्म बंधु इवं जसी यो सौ अनाकस सुप्ता अवधीन निशि बालका मत्थम प्रमत्त उन्मत्त सुप्त भालम स्त्रिय जडम प्रभन्न विरधम बीत नरिपु हंति धर्म विते स्वप्राण्यपर प्राण प्रपुष्णादि अग्रण कला Anyone who want to read? Mata ji, thank you, Mata ji. I am reading. I am reading, Mata ji. Um, Please. My name, my my name, Partha. Ma, my name, Partha Agrasi. My name, Partha Agrasi. Ratham, Ratham Brahmana. Ratu Brahmana Bandum. इमं इमं धर्म जगदगुरु श्रीला प्रभुपात की जय हरे कृष्णा Lord Sri Krishna said, "O oh Arjuna, you should not show mercy by releasing this relative of a Brahmana, Brahman, Brahma Bandhu, for he has killed innocent boys in their sleep. Uh, a person who knows the principles of religion does not kill an enemy who is careless, intoxicated, insane, asleep, afraid, or devoid of his chariot. Nor does he kill a boy." A woman, a foolish creature, or a surrendered soul, a cruel and wretched person who maintains his existence at the cost of others' lives deserves to be killed for his own well-being. Otherwise, he will go down by his own actions. Ah, uh, furthermore, I have personally heard you promise the Draupadi that you would bring forth the head of the killer of her sons. जगदुरुरी A high court judge's son, as a relative of the honourable justice, therefore, as by birth only one does not become a high court judge, uh, so also one does not become a brahmana simply by birthright, but by acquiring the necessary qualification of a brahmana. As the high court judgeship is a post for qualified men, so also the post of a brahmana is attainable by qualification only. The shastra enjoys that even if good qualification are seen in a person born in family other than that of a brahmana, the qualified man has to be accepted as a brahmana. And similarly, if a person born in the family of a brahmana is void of brahminical qualification, then he must be treated as a non-brahmana or in better 
terms a relative of Brahmana, Lord Sri Krishna, the supreme authority of all religious principles, the Vedas has personally pointed out these differences and he is about to explain the reason for this in the following shlokas. An enemy who does not resist is never killed by a warrior who knows the principles of religion. Formerly, battles were fought on the principles of religion and not for the sake of sense gratification. If the enemy happened to be intoxicated, asleep, etc., as above mentioned, he was never to be killed. These are some of the codes of negligence war, neglig, neg, uh, religious war. Formerly, war was never declared by the whims of selfish political leader. It was carried out uh, on religious principles free from all vices. Violence carried out on religion, religious principles as is far superior to so-called non-violence. A life for a life is just punishment for a person who cruelly and shamelessly lives at the cost of another's life. Political morality is to punish a person by death sentence in order to save a cruel person from going to hell. That a murderer is condemned to a death sentence by the state is good for the culprit because in his next life, he will not have to suffer for his act of murder. Such a death sentence for the murderer is the lowest possible punishment offered to him. And it is said in the Smriti Shastras that men who are punished by the king on the principles of a life for a life are purified of all their sins, so much so that they may be eligible for being promoted to the planets of heaven. According to Manu, the great author of civic codes and religious principle, even the killer of an animal is to be considered a murderer because animal food is never meant for uh, the civilized man. Oh, the prime duty is to prepare himself for going back to Godhead. He says that in the act of killing an animal, there is a regular conspiracy by the party of sinners and all of them are liable to be punished as murderers exactly like a party of conspirators who kill a human being combinedly he who gives from permission he who kills the animal he who sells the slaughter, uh, slaughtered animal he who cooks the animal uh, he who administers distribution of the foodstuff and at last he who eats such cooked animal foods are all murderers and all of them are liable to be punished by the uh, laws of nature. No one can create a living being despite all advancement of material science and therefore no one has the right to kill a living being by one's independent whims for the animal uh, animal eaters. The scriptures have sanctioned restricted animal sacrifices only and such sanctions are there just to restrict the opening of slaughterhouses and not to encourage animal killing. The procedure under which animal sacrifice is allowed in the scriptures is good both for the animal sacrifice and the animal eaters. It is good for the animal in the sense that the sacrificed animal is at once promoted to the human form of the li of life after being sacrificed at the altar. And the animal uh, eater is saved from gross type of sins, eating meats supplied by organized slaughterhouses, which are ghastly places for breeding all kinds of material affection, affections to society, country, and the people in general. The material world is itself a place always full of anxiety and by encouraging animal slaughter, the whole atmosphere becomes polluted more and more by war, pestilence, hay mine and many other unwanted calamities. Om Gyanati Mirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Ena Asmai Sri Gurave Nama Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Ena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam 
वंदे हम श्री गुरो श्रीयुत पद कमल श्री गुरून वैष्णवांच श्री रूपम सागर जातम सगण रघुनाथान्वित सजीव साधवैतम सवधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पाद सहगण ललिता श्री विशाखा नमो ओम विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्टाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारिणे वाछा कल्पतरूभे चुपा सिंधु पतिता पावणेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण पुणे वंस वेलकम टू ऑल प्रभु जी विल टेल अस अबाउट दिस श्लोकास व्हाट दे डिस्क्राइब इन दैट श्लोकास हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण that of the ram so after understanding about how to manage anger we are seeing how krishna was still in angry mood is explaining to arjuna as to what he should be doing so first thing he says is that mercy should not be shown to ashwatthama and instead of calling him as a brahmana he is being called as relative of brahmana brahma bandhu and why should no mercy be given to him because he killed you know sin boys when they were sleeping and krishna gives the reason which is very important that according to religion dharma one should not kill even an enemy who is careless intoxicated insane asleep afraid or devoid of his care what the six aspects they are very very important not the a person kill boy woman foolish creature or a, shur- a shur- surrendered soul so these six entities six living beings should never be killed but a person who is wretched who maintains his existence at the cost of others lives he should be killed for his own well being because if he is not killed he will continue his actions and he will go down to the adattam loka which is full of darkness so for preventing his further downward journey he should be punished now ideally a person who is born in a brahmana family he would be getting trained as a brahmana but still he is not qualified to be called a brahmana unless he actually gets those qualification so in that case he is called as brahma band brahmana bandhu brahma bandhu that is a relative of a brahmana prabhupada ji gives a very apt description and analogy to explain this we have so many courts so a high court judge so he is there because he has earned that position the son of a high court judge cannot become a high court judge but still he can be told oh he is the son of a high court judge similarly a son of a brahmana need not become a brahmana so he is to be called as son of a brahmana so but not by birthright but by acquiring necessary qualifications he can become a brahmana similarly a son of a judge by taking the necessary qualifications he can become a judge as well so the qualifications have to be earned realized and then implemented in fact shastra says that if person who has got good qualifications like a brahmana even if he is born in a family other than that of a brahmana 
such qualified person has to be accepted as Brahman. And similarly, even if a person is born in family of Brahman, but is not having Brahmanical qualifications, then he must be treated like a non-Brahmana or as a Brahmabandhu. Now, this is not something which is being spoken by Prabhupada. This is something which the scriptures have said. And Lord Shri Krishna, who is the supreme authority of religious principles, the Vedas, has personally pointed out these differences. And then, not only this is going to give us further information why such things should be done. And he says that an enemy can never be killed if he is not in a position to resist. So if a person is intoxicated, if he has become insane, if he is sleeping, if he is already very much afraid, he is careless, he is not having a carrier on which he can drive and fight. So in such situations, the person is not resisting. So that enemy should never be killed. And this is a principle of religion. In fact, all the battles and the wars which used to happen always used to be on the basis of principles of religion, never for sense gratification. And so, all these rules, codes, they were being implemented and followed. Today, any political person, as per his whims and fancies, he declares war. Just like we are seeing so many wars happening currently, almost everywhere, every part of the world. You have the Russia-Ukraine war, we have the Israel fighting so many fronts against in Gaza, in Lebanon, Iran, wherever we look at. So, violence is being carried out, but it is as per whims and fancies, selfish political leaders. But in earlier times, it was carried out on religious principles only, free from all voices. So, Prabhupada says that a violence which is carried out on religious principles is far superior than the non-violence. So if someone is not following the religious principles, then he has to be punished. Like we have this rule, a hand for a hand, similarly a life for a life. So if someone has cruelly killed someone else, then he has to be given life punishment. So, the political morality of that sentence is actually to save that cruel person from going to hell. The state, with, on the basis of its power, can give that sentence. And the result of that is that the culprit, it does not have to suffer for his act of murder. So, Prabhupada says that death sentence is the lowest possible punishment which can be offered to a murderer. Because what it happens is, it enables the person to be purified of all its sins. So much so, that they become eligible for being promoted to the planets of heaven. So, Manu, who is the one of the biggest authors, I will say, of civic codes and religious principles, he says that just like we are talking about a killer of the man, similarly the, the killer of animal is to be considered a murderer. And he has to be punished as such. Why? Because animal food is never meant for civilized man whose actual duty is to prepare himself for going back to Godhead. So by the act of killing an animal, there is a conspiracy by all the sinners. And so all of them are liable to be punished as murderers. Just like if someone kills a human being and there is a party of conspirators, then they are combinedly punished. Similar way, anyone who is permitting 
anyone who is actually killing the animal anyone who is selling the slaughtered animal someone who is cooking the animal one who is distributing the food stuff and then finally one who is eating such cooked animal food all of them are a party and all are murderers and all of them are liable to be punished by the laws of nature and why is it so because no one can actually create a living being despite the advancement of material science so no one has the right to kill a living being on the basis of its own independent whims but people say that shastras also talk about animal killing that animal eating is permit okay but then there is a sanction restricted animal sacrifice and such sanctions are to restrict the opening of slaughter houses not to encourage animal killing the procedure which is given in the shastras for such sacrifices is good for both the sacrificed animal as well as the eater good for the animal because then the sacrificed animal is at once promoted to the human form of life after being sacrificed at the altar and the animal eater is saved from the greater types of sins like eating meat supplied by say organized slaughter houses slaughter houses are ghastly places where there is breeding of all kinds of material afflictions to society people in general so that is what the scriptures are talking about but even then you are liable for that murder and you are going to be punished by the laws of nature this whole material world is a place full of anxieties we all know this dukhalayam ashashvatam so by encouraging animal slaughters the whole atmosphere becomes more polluted that is why we are having so many more wars so many drought famines so many calamities are coming nowadays flooding so prabhu ji says that it all should be stopped but how is it possible only when people understand what is real work which needs to be done so what is the work to be done the work to be done is to acknowledge our real position as a servitor to krishna jivera mm-hmm. swarupa hai nitir krishna das and we have to start doing the sadhana to serve krishna and we have to keep ourselves always in the consciousness of krishna and for that chanting of the hari krishna mahamantra is very very important being in association of the devotees is very very important ensuring that we read the scriptures to understand the concepts is recommended and food should be only krishna prasadam nothing else we should serve the deities as per our capabilities and engage in some kind of a service to the vaishnavas to guru and to the mission if we are able to do all these things appropriately as per sadhana bhakti then only there is an opportunity that will get the option of purifying ourselves completely 